And if you're into rendering, you probably have heard about D5 Render, and this is a real-time rendering software which is currently popular amongst architects, interior designers, and also 3D artists creating high-quality visuals and animation with impressive speed and realism, as this simply combines a couple of AI-powered tools to deliver astonishing-looking photorealistic rendering. At the same time, it offers ray tracing with AI-powered denoising, allowing users to light their scenes properly, add reflection, and real-time shadows. It is quite interesting to see how far D5 Render has come, as it now integrates fully with 3D modeling tools like SketchUp, Revit, and also Blender, enabling a smoother workflow and live syncing capabilities that update models in real time when working with these aforementioned DCC tools. And folks at D5 are constantly upgrading their toolset and with version 2.9, there's a lot of things that digital artists and creators can now take advantage of. And for the key features, dynamic terrain sculpting makes it to the top of the list, as this updated terrain tool now allows users to create detailed landscape of imprecise control over how you get to create your environment. Users can apply up to six different materials, create impressive transitions across elements, and also work with simplified and additional natural elements like grasses, rocks, and also trees to bring their scenes to life. And how you get to work with a brand new terrain tool is this easy. Because this now exists within the asset browser, which has gotten an update by the way, all you need to do is click, go over to the asset browser, and from here, you need to select online. We can also click and drag out this new panel, and we can simply select terrain. Now, the terrain comes in two tiers. There is the premium one. You're definitely gonna have more options, but since we're using the free version, all we need to do is turn on the free, and from here, we can have access to this. Now, before this update, how you create terrains was very easy. So you just simply go ahead, select the terrain of choice, and from here, you can start sculpting. So you can select from the brushes that exist and sculpt however you choose. Let's just simply go all the way up, and start sculpting. So the more you sculpt, the more stuff you'll be getting. So you can sculpt as much as you want. And this is also something that you can do with any other brush that exists here. So say for example, you know, you're trying to make some stuff, but the big update now has to do with the kind of things that you can do with the terrain. So you can simply go over to the asset, select any of the terrain that you want, click, and now you can drop it. So let's simply zoom all the way out and just make sure that we get things in perspective. I'm also gonna move this out. So once we have this ready, we can now position this right here and you can see how it just simply fits in. Of course, we can definitely go ahead and choose to scale this down and position this right where we want it to be. The cool thing with this new update is this also merges with pre-existed sculpts. There's also a few parameters here that you can use to control how the terrain behaves. So we can get that. We can also play with the fall off depending on how much fall off we want we can get this going. You can also bring in a couple other ones and the terrain maps that you get here, or technically the height maps which you get here, these come in different variants. There's the mountain, the ridge, the island. Of course, we don't have free stuff for the ridge, but for the islands, you do get two stuff. Dunes, you also get about two stuff. There's no free stuff for the crater. And for the material template, you have access to three major materials that you can work with. So you can definitely see the categories that exist. And for you to apply any of these materials, all you need to do is click and these would automatically apply to the scene. You can simply explore with these ones, see what and what you can create with them, and definitely you can go back and forth with this and see what actually works for you. Of course, you can now proceed to scatter stuff around your scene and start building your scene depending on what you're trying to make. And with version 2.9, the 3D connection mouse is now finally here. Previously, this was in beta, but it's quite interesting to see that you now have this feature, and if you do own a 3D connection mouse, you can now easily travel across your scene and inspect it properly. Version 2.9 also ships with brand new assets and UI customization, as this now introduces over 320 new assets, which includes different variations of characters from elderly all the way to children models. There's also a couple of materials that ranges from fabrics, natural surfaces, and also tiles. Asset management is now even better, and of course, this improvement alongside the new asset and UI customization features that now comes with this makes working and also utilizing tools that exist within your asset browser easier to navigate and utilize. Phasing animation is also here. So some time ago, we did talk about how you can do this in Twinmotion, but it's quite interesting to see that now inside of D5 Render, you can now create phasing animation as this feature makes it super easy for you to animate construction sequences or showcase complex processes without manual keyframing. And like we all know, phasing animations are designed to clearly showcase the evolution of project or product assemblies. And and D5 Render does it pretty well. And in terms of placement, there is now a brand new random placement tool that now allows you to randomly place assets across your scene. And I think this is one tool a lot of creators have actually looked for. And it is nice to see that this is now available. 
D5 also ships with a PostAI tool, and the new PostAI tool offers advanced image processing capabilities, which now offers various style transfers when creating images. So for those who are thinking about making things like watercolor effect, MPRs or photorealistic rendering, you can now use the Post AI to enhance your image visual. Furthermore, there is an FPS booster for complex geometries and this is built to optimize complex geometries and also densely populated scene to create a more smoother performance when working with large models. They've also added a voxel style to text to 3D and this feature in D5 Render is a simple tool that allows users to generate 3D models in a voxel style and this is based off prompt and this is one of those AI integrations that are now available. And just like Post AI and some of the improvements now available with D5 Render, this is also a paid tool and free users have no access to it. And for Blender users, there's a very cool feature that allows you bring in your geometry node setup and render them right inside of D5 Render. So if you do have a geometry node setup and you're looking for where you can render this, this is now super possible with this installment of D5 Render. And with this, there's a lot of other optimization tools and also features that are now available. There's a huge enhancement to workflow and for those who would like to see some of the bug fixes and also see how they can get started with this, then links to this is going to be in the description, so do well to check it out. It is quite interesting to see that D5 Render version 2.9 now features a lot of cool things to help creators produce high quality looking images and I'm particularly excited about this new release. So this is it. For those who like to try this, all you need to do is go over to pricing and you can simply download the free community version and start creating amazing stuff with it. For those who like to download even more stuff, you can simply go over to the download section where you can download plugins for both 3D Studio Max, Rhino, SketchUp, Cinema 4D, Akikad, Revit and also Vectorworks. So tell me what you guys think about this ones in the comment section and of course if you like this video or you like something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.